Today, we're diving into this word healer. What does it mean to be a healer? Are you a healer? Can anyone be a healer? Where do you have to go to get a healing, right? And how many different types of healing modalities are out there? If you've been watching my channel for the last couple years, I have immersed myself into focusing on all different aspects. Check out that playlist, you'll find plenty. But today we're diving in it for you. And what does that mean? You're actually going to take a little test with me and you're going to uncover, we're all healers by the way, we are all healers. We can all heal ourselves. So today you're going to learn what does that mean and what type of a healer you are. If that interests you, stay watching. That fun video is coming up next. Hey, Jeannie Lynch, thank you so much for staying clicked in. I'm really happy to continue the beautiful work of teaching intuition and looking at different spiritual modalities. And today we're just looking at the word healer, healing. You know, how do you get to deem yourself a healer? I call myself an energy healer and I have for the past 15 years. And yet I'm not certified to touch you with Reiki. That's not the way I heal. I actually call myself a healer through healing through communication. So even that is a form of healing. So using my words. So why don't you for a second, think of different modalities that you've experienced. Let me know below. I, when I was researching to do this video, I was trying to figure out just how many healing modalities are out there. I'm going to put up a slide and I'm just going to list some. We don't have all day, but I just want to give you a sense of just how many modalities are out there. And that way too, you can also look into or connect with some of these. So let me share some of the words. Let's put up a beautiful slide. And again, I'm only going to list some. Quantum touch, EFT tapping, Reiki, healing touch, Ayurveda, chakra healing, breath work, chiropractic, biofeedback, aura healing, aromatherapy, massage, angel healing, hypnosis, cranial sacral, crystal healing, therapy, color therapy, distant, divine healing, self-healing, and sound healing. Okay, come back to me now. I could go on and on and on. We're going to make this a quick video. The point is there are so many different ways to heal out there. Meditation is a form of healing. It's self-reflection, right? We all have the ability to heal and heal ourselves and to heal others. I love this. So today we're going to dive into what does that mean for you? And you're also going to uncover what type of a healer you are. About a year and a half ago, I did a little series where you got to uncover your will, you got to uncover if you were intuitive, and then you even took a little test to find out what type of an intuitive you are. Well, we're going to go back into that work and we're going to look at healing today, and you're going to uncover what type of a healer you are. So you will need a little piece of paper and a pen because you're just going to have to write yes and the numbers that I'm about to read. We're going to explore more of this idea of us being able to heal ourselves and explain what each, each of them is at the end of this video. <gasps> so much fun. Are you ready to uncover if you're a healer? Okay, let's do it. That test is coming up next. I'm so excited that you've hung around to take this test. Before we do this, we're just going to do a little visualization to get you a little grounded, a little connected to source so that you can absolutely answer these questions straight from your heart. Okay, to get you grounded, let's take a beautiful three deep breaths. You can close your eyes to do this or you can stay watching through the visualization. I'm just going to activate your own healing within you with your hands, okay? So please, three deep breaths and let's do this together. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more. One more. 
in through your nose. Okay, relax. Sit in this relaxed position. I would like you to place both your hands on your solar plexus. This is your third chakra, the center, right underneath your breastbone. Both hands sit quietly and continue to breathe. With your eyes closed, just focus on your entire awareness, just onto your hands. And when you do this, you will notice they will gradually just become warmer. They're picking up energy from your own energy force, your own prana that's stored in your solar plexus. Notice that now. Couple more breaths. Now I want you to remove your hands from your solar plexus and I want you to take your fingers and bring them up to your forehead and lightly touch your forehead. This will make them tingle and feel alive with energy. You're connecting. Let the streams of that prana energy flow into your hands now. Notice the vivid sensation this should cause. Keep your fingers there until the tingling stops. Now move your fingers away and I want you to shake your hands vigorously for a few moments. Just shake out your hands. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Good job. Shake them. A little more. We're almost done. Okay, now return the same hands to your solar plexus. Open up your eyes and come back to me. Okay. So basically you just activated your own internal prana from the solar where all the power of your soul is stored, okay? Right up to your head and then back into your solar. So we're connecting and that's what we're doing when we're healing. So now that I've got you grounded, I'm going to get ready to ask those beautiful questions. I'm going to put up three slides, 12 questions, yes or no. Grab your little piece of paper and pen. Let's dive in and uncover what type of healer you are. Enjoy. Are you ready? Okay, slides up. The first four questions. Question one, are you a good listener? Yes or no? Question two, do you make others feel at ease? Is that a goal for you? Do you make others feel at ease? Number three, can you feel a connection with earth and nature? Do you feel a connection with earth and nature? And last Number on this slide, number four, do people confide in you? Are you the keeper of their secrets? Number four, yes or no. Moving on. Question five, do you have the ability to just shake off a headache? Yes or no. Number six, do you want to make the world a better place? Is this a goal you have? Do you want to make the world a better place? Number six, yes or no. Number seven, have you ever felt the presence of an angelic or a healing guide? Number seven, yes or no. Number eight, do you feel like you have an intuitive link to animals? Yes or no? Number nine. Next slide. 
Do you often feel completely at one with the world? Yes or no? And number 10, do you feel other people's pain? Do you feel other people's pain? Yes or no? Number 11, after you visited or phoned a friend, do your friends tell you they felt better? And the last question, number 12, could you decide not to be unwell? Okay, come back to me now. So yes or no, take a second, whether you have to go back or not. Hopefully I did that slow enough for you. You're just adding up your yeses, okay? So I'm gonna put up one more slide. We're gonna go through what, they, what that means and then we're gonna just kind of break it down a little bit and you'll be on with your day and you'll know what type of healer you are, okay? Are you ready? Let's do this. If you answered yes to questions one, two, and four, you are empathic. If you answered yes to number three, eight, and 10, you are shamanistic. If you answered yes to five, 11, and 12, your gift is psychic healing. And if you answered six, seven, and nine, you have spiritual healing ability. Okay. So you've just uncovered today, we just mentioned that there's so many different types of healings out there. And today, for the sake of just having it make sense, we categorized it into four. So we've told you you're either empathic, shamanistic, psychic healing or spiritual healing. So I'm gonna share four continual slides that will list and describe each one. I'll play some nice, beautiful music for you to read which one you are. And then we'll wrap up this video. Thank you again. Um, I so love exploring and teaching and seeking and helping you expand your own consciousness. So let me know below which one you are and again, the definition of those four is coming up next. An empathic healer. Empaths have the ability to scan another person's psyche for thoughts and feelings or for the past, present, and future life occurrences. Many empaths are unaware of how this actually works and have long accepted the fact that they're just sensitive to other people's feelings. A shamanistic healer is a kind of medicine and it's practiced by indigenous people for thousands of years. Shamans believe that all illness and misfortune is caused by a loss of personal power and they believe by restoring the person's power they can facilitate the healing. They do this through using ancient shamanic arts. The shaman works hard to bring back a full state of wellness and well-being for the person they're facilitating the healing for. Psychic healers, they often use tools that are not derived from the earthly plane, but more metaphysical sources, which can have a major impact on the natural order and the balance of a body. Most psychic healers are good at channeling a higher vibration or energy or using metaphysical energy to transfer healing to a physical body or a mentally ill individual. And lastly, we have spiritual healers. Spiritual healers go back as far as the days of the Bible, and they've always had their support. In recent years, they've gained worldwide acceptance and popularity, right here in the States, the United Kingdom, and other countries around the world. Spiritual healers believe that their therapeutic effect results from channeling a healing energy from an assumed source via from the healer to the patient. So whew, now your homework. You could be a couple of those, by the way. <laughs> you might be all four, right? It's just to have the beautiful awareness in the conversation 
that we can heal. And, you know, the first step is to un uncovering that for yourself. The second step is, you know, you can get into healing others. In fact, I charge you to do so. And then distant healing, what is that? Go back to when you were going, you know, to church or you see on Facebook, they ask, someone will ask for a prayer, you know, my brother was just in an accident. Can everybody put some intentions around sending him healing light? When a group or more come together and we pray, right? What do you think we're doing? It's distant healing. When a friend asks you to, you know, consider them, when you dedicate your yoga practice, these are all ways in which we heal. And we heal ourselves too, when we're being kind to ourselves, when we're being smiling at another human being, okay? being kind, opening doors, that's all forms of generosity and kindness. Kindness is healing. So making my point, we absolutely are all healers. If you'd like to develop your healing, I'm gonna tag a couple videos that I hope will help. And if you have a healing modality that you would love to teach the world, Healy is a brand new one. I think you're gonna hear about that on my channel coming soon. There's still healings that are being developed, especially in our new world with where we are energetically, right? If you have a healing that I didn't list in this video, will you comment below? We can start a beautiful conversation. There are thousands of ways to heal, to be healed, become a healer, and heal the world. Hopefully you agree. This is Jeannie Lynch. Thanks a lot for being part of this video. So enjoy our time together. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this. Happy healing. Namaste.